First up, I just want to remind you that I'm doing a $10,000 gear giveaway, premiergal.com slash giveaway to enter. It's ending in two days and I will be deleting that video. Also be sure to have your notifications on because on June 8th, I'm releasing something special with other creators that you don't want to miss. Yes, it is that time of the month. And no, not that time of the month. It's time for a Premiere Pro update video version 23.4 is now available. It's that time where I list out all of the new updates, how they work, and you continue to leave comments like this. Now I get it. I'll be addressing these comments in just a moment, but first I want to note that there are tons of positive comments too. Listen, with the sheer number, I mean millions of Adobe Premiere Pro users and the wide variety of machines that we all use, there are bound to be some reports of stability and performance issues. That's just a fact. And as of late, Late, as a user of the M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM, I've noticed recently that my Premiere Pro performs absolutely amazing. And I can say that crashing is a thing of the past. Heck, I even know some DaVinci Resolve users that has the program crash on them too, but nobody's talking about it. We're only talking about Premiere Pro. So because of the number of comments, I'm going to take this as a challenge. I'm going to download DaVinci Resolve and actually try it out to see how it compares to Premiere Pro. Challenge accepted. With that said, Premiere Pro users and other YouTube creators have been saying that version 23.4 is the most stable version of Premiere Pro yet. Adobe is watching this video. They're looking at the comments, I think. And Adobe wants to make major improvements because they want to make money. They want to make a product that's stable that people actually want to use. So keep leaving these comments, leave suggestions, leave feedback. And according to other YouTube creators, they are taking this very seriously. And I also want to set the record straight. Adobe is not paying me to promote these new updates. I'm just a gal sitting in front of a computer asking it to love her. <laughs> no, please. I'm also just a gal standing in front of a computer, asking it to love her. All right, so now that we have addressed the comments, the elephants in the room, let's talk more about these updates. Text-based editing is here in the main version. It has been in the public beta for many, many months, and now it's in the main version of Premiere Pro. You can now go to System Preferences Transcription and make it so Premiere will use AI to automatically transcribe your clips for you. That's right, every clip will be transcribed. And you can enable language auto detection. And talking about languages, they just added Danish language to the list. Hooray for Denmark! So with text-based editing from the text panel, you can easily search your clips like a Word document by keyword to find that moment. Or you can edit it like a Word document too. You can delete a section and it will delete from the timeline. You can check out the full video I made just by clicking right up here. Also, Bogerts are faster. Now they added multi-frame rendering and it changes everything. But if you're like me and my team, we use tons of Mogerts with Envato Elements. I mean, there are hundreds and thousands of templates. It's easy because with an Envato Elements subscription, you can download as much as you want, import them into your central graphics panel to keep and customize them. Elements literally has every type of Mogert you could look for. There's animated icons, infographics, fast food promos, podcast intros, and these mobiles let you bring the power of After Effects right into Premiere Pro. But try it out for yourself. You can get 70% off your Envato Elements subscription by using my link in my description box. And let me know how it goes. Thanks so much to Elements for sponsoring today's episode. And now let's go into the next update. And now there's a dashboard for processes. When you go to the upper right, you will see that there is now a dashboard showing you everything that is going on. So this is a good place to go to see what Premiere Pro is working on. For example, if you didn't want to work on one particular thing. Also, apparently in this new update, there's faster scrolling for your mouse and all of the different panels. They also noticed that it's particularly faster for the MacBook Pro trackpads and the magic mice that you use with your computers. There are also some new updates 
updates that are now in beta, so go click the link below to read all about the updates and the new things that are coming. So the last thing that I want to address is that AI is not replacing us. I received a ton of comments on my last video where we introduced the new Adobe AI video tool. And listen, these new AI tools like Mid Journey, Runway, Adobe AI, ChatGPT, they're basically assistants that can help you get things done faster. This idea of AI replacing us is really this dystopian fairy tale. You, as the editor, still have the power to make a ton of creative decisions. Should we add B-roll over top of this section? What about a sound effect? Should we have music here? Oh wait, maybe we shouldn't for emotional impact. These are all questions as editors we have to ask ourselves that are very complex questions that AI cannot do. There are new AI tools that can do a rough cut for you of a podcast, but can they remove unwanted parts of that video for a creative decision? No, that is still on us. There are so many content creators now on YouTube that all need editors. It's a boom in industry. So please do not fall down that dystopian hill story of AI taking over the humans, blah, 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 blah. It is still a very relevant role. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and these new updates. And remember, Adobe is watching. So please leave your feedback below and it's going to get better. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop. I'm just a gal sitting in front of a computer asking it to love her. <laughs> no, please.